What's up my fellow collectors, Jim here with another figure review and tonight we're going to take a look at the Mafex Spider-Man Homecoming figure. Very excited for this one. The packaging is what we've seen with other Mafex figures. Get a big open window, pretty much shows everything. Do have a cool image of Spider-Man, the figure right here. It does say Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming. This is Mafex Metacom Toy number 47. Top of the box we get Spider-Man Homecoming. And I like how they have this design almost like of the suit kind of all around this box. Pretty cool little packaging. On this side we have a cool image of the figure again. The other side we have another image of the figure. On the back we do have all the promotional pictures that we saw. And on the bottom we've got all that. So that is the packaging. Let's go ahead and crack this open and take a closer look. Okay, really quick, once you get everything out of the packaging, this is a really cool touch by Mafex that they added this. On the inner tabs here, we do have the Avengers mask that you can actually cut out and place on other, you know, I guess six inch scale figures to kind of uh, recreate that scene where he was fighting those criminals in the ATM that were wearing those kind of like cheap Halloween masks. That's really, really neat and a cool thing by Mafex. Okay, out of packaging, this Spider-Man comes with a bunch of different accessories. So really, really cool. We get a bunch of different hands. They're all done really well, nice sculpt. The um, web shooters are sculpted in all of the hands and the webs themselves are sculpted in. So they I mean, it makes it look really, really good. They're not painted, but it still looks good. But we do have a pair of wall crawling hands. Can't have Spider-Man without a pair of thwipping hands. So we do get a pair of thwipping hands. We have a pair of kind of like relaxed hands, but also we can use these for holding the mask. We do have a pair of fists. Do have a pair of web swinging hands or like thumbs up if you want. We do have a pair of wall crawling hands that have magnets in them. And I mean, the magnets are strong, but not strong enough to hold the figure up, unfortunately. I mean, you can kind of get it to work, but it just kind of ends up uh, you know buckling and sliding down on its own weight so I mean it's really cool that they included it because we also have feet as well that have the magnets on the bottom and they're done really nice like with the detail and everything it just kind of sucks that they're not they don't work like they're supposed to get a bunch of different webs we have two short webs we have two longer webs and then we have two webs that like more or less like swinging webs and they kind of have a little bit of sculpted detail in them so that's really cool both of these are pretty much the same size he does come with the other head sculpt and the head sculpts look great really nice i love the proportion just the way that this looks really really nice job but these have a little bit more um less i mean a little a little bit more squint to the eyes then we have the unmasked kind of flat hand, hand, the head. And this turned out good. I mean, mine has a little bit of kind of like dirty paint on it in some places, but it does look good. And you can like use one of these kind of more relaxed hands, just kind of shove it up in there and have him hold that. So that is cool. It does work. And then, of course, we have the Tom Holland head, which, you know, at the end of the day, isn't really that bad. You know, it's definitely not what they showed us in the promotional images, but the skin tone on it isn't as bad. It's not like as like orangey as they usually are. And you know, for, I mean, for what it is, it's not bad at all. So, you know, from the side, it kind of doesn't look anything like them, but from the front, it kind of does. And I think it will work and it's nice that it is included. We do have this other kind of like long web effect that has this part on the um, end of it. And you can actually use the Mafex stand, which is included. And of course, we've seen these before. You do have the hinge at the bottom, hinge in the middle, hinge at the top. You do have the waist grabber. And I like this one because this is like nice and small, like to how they used to be. And of course, you can port that on there and that swivels around that. But then it also comes with this piece, which you can attach to the top here. And I mean, I guess you could technically, you know, put the figure on there, but it also will house there's a little port in here so you can pop, pop that on there and have like spider-man and just kind of grab something so that's really cool that that is included but yeah that's all the accessories of course spider-man does have a pair of hands on him but let's take a closer look at all 
Okay, and here is the figure. And I gotta say, this is a really, really nice figure. I have to agree with the majority of people that are saying, you know, Mayfex wins for the Homecoming Spider-Man figure. I mean, it's just proportionally much, much better than SH Figure Arts. Now, I'm only, I haven't got that figure in hand yet. I ordered it and there's some like shipping issues. It got shipped to the wrong place and then got shipped back to the seller or is what they say anyway. But I'm still waiting to get that figure in hand. But I mean, I've seen other reviews and pictures and I gotta say that, you know, I can only imagine it's gonna be a much better figure than SH Figure Arts. I've already seen the pictures where it shows the proportions because the SH Figure Arts was very skeleton looking and you know the joints were much more noticeable and cut out throughout the figure and big difference with the head and I think that's what really wins it for this figure for me is just the head I think the head is just done really nice and looks very human like you know under a mask so I definitely like that but uh, taking a closer look at the figure really really nice sculpt work all throughout this thing by Mayfex now all the the lines that we get for the web work are just sculpted in so there's no paint but it works i mean it still looks great that you know how they're doing it that way that they did uh, these are the eyes that are the head with the more wider open eyes that come on him out of the packaging which i think look good you know they're kind of like a silvery whitish color but really really nice job on the sculpting of course the rest of the suit looks really great we get the different textures all throughout and all the black piping work you know, all throughout the the costume looks really good. There is some discoloration between reds on the the cap that's hiding the articulation, the shoulders, and the biceps. It seems like are a duller red than like than we get everywhere else on the figure. But you know, it's not too bad. It doesn't stand out that much. But um, really nice details on all of these. You know, black parts. I do have some parts of my figure that are a little bit iffy with the paint like I had this black splotch right here right up front so that's kind of annoying and then there are other areas of the figure where I do get a little bit of bleeding and you know some bleeding down here and everything but you know that's kind of expected it's just gonna happen no big deal but a uh, really nice detail work all throughout this guy he looks great really nice job on the wrist with the web shooters they look really good we even get some silver paint now it's not going to line up with the web shooter on his hand at all times because this doesn't rotate. So I think if they would have made this part rotate, you know, that would have been great because then you would have always had that lined up like it should be. But um, and then what I really like is what they did with the all the blue portions of the costume, how it has that kind of like pipe work, pipeline work going all throughout. That's all sculpted in just like they did with the you know webs on the red part of the suit and I just think that looks really really good you know it's 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 not like stand out but it's subtle enough to just make it look really good and then we get you know that same sculpt work all throughout the feet the feet look good the bottom of the feet we get the nice sculpt work coming up the back of the figure again we get really nice you know sculpted lines all throughout the costume I think the uh, Spider-Man symbol on his back turned out really good, nice and clean. Everything you know lines up really nice all throughout, and then of course the logo on his chest came out really nice too. Really nice and clean. Both sides with the web shooters, yeah, just really really nice job all throughout. We get the nice texture and the nice sculpt, and then on top of that we get really nice movement with this guy. You do get movement in the head and the neck with both. You get them looking straight up, straight down. Of course, you get you know rotation all the way around at the head and the neck. Really nice side to side movement. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. Really nice movement side to side. Of course, we do have like this butterfly kind of joint right here to kind of shift forward and back. Then we do have our standard swivel and hinge. You know, hinge out really nice. Of course, that'll swivel all the way around. You do have a bicep swivel. You do have double jointed elbows, which work really nice. And, you know, don't look too bad. And, of course, for the hands, you have the swivel and hinge, and you can set that to go up and down or left and right. Then we get really nice movement at both the upper and the waist. So the upper will crunch about that much forward, about that much back. Of course, it does get a little gappy there in the front, so that's a little bit frustrating. Of course you do get you know side and side with that and you get the same movement here at the waist so with both really really nice crunch forward 
and with both you get really really nice crunch back of course again you're going to get the gap in the front and then when you do you know um crouch him over really a lot like that you do get some gapping in the back as well but you know i guess there's not too much they could do about that and of course you do get rotation at the waist and more side to side pretty much all around movement there the crotch piece is a softer material so it will kind of flex as you're moving the legs but you get really nice movement with the leg and then you can kind of see how it's kind of pushing up against that so i think that's smart and i do like that but i do feel like over time it's going to probably start either you know warping it to where it's not going to kind of form itself back or it's going to you know start rubbing the paint or something of course we do have a shift up and down on the leg as well and you do have rotation around that ball joint there and then uh coming back you know it'll kick out but you can pretty much get it almost all the way back and of course you do have the shift up and down and you do have double jointed knees and then of course you got your ball peg for your foot and you can pretty much get that straight back straight forward and then you do have the forward facing pin that'll give you a rocker and you have the toe joint so i mean just overall really nice movement with this guy now as far as swapping off out the hands it can be a little bit of a pain in the ass especially when you're trying to get the web shooters on because well here's the one hand i'll just show this while we have that hand in there the web swinging hand just kind of place the web in like so and bam you got spider-man swinging on a web and i mean the hands come off pretty easily there's no mushroom it's pretty much just a peg but when you're trying to get like the web shooter on you want to put it over the peg and then get his web flipping hand and try to get that on the peg and the peg always seems to want to you know move around on you so it can be very frustrating but the more you kind of work at it the more you do it you can eventually get that in there and then once you get it in there you do kind of have to mess with it a little bit kind of turn this around to get everything lined up and then when you do you know it does look good you can get him like flipping the web so that's really cool and then as far as the one kind of like relaxed hand for holding the mask you can pop the mask in there Maybe this, was this the hand? No, this was not the hand. I showed you that, yeah, that one hand that was more or less made for holding the mask. But I haven't really had too much of an issue with, the, with you know, interchanging the hands. Just every once in a while, that peg wants to hinge on you. That's the, that's the biggest problem that I've had. But um, either one of these kind of like gripping hands will hold the mask nice for when you have the Tom Holland head on. Speaking of which, just to change the head, you just want to pop the head off, not the neck. So you can put that other head on that has the kind of squint of your eyes. So you can pop that on there, and that's what he looks like with the squinty eyes. And then for the Tom Holland head, what you want to do is pop the head and the neck off. Because the Tom Holland head kind of has that you know uh, a little bit of exposed neck to the area so but with it on it does look good like i said it might not look as good as the you know marvel legends version as far as paint goes but i think proportions is much better because this was way too big for his body but much better skin tone this is very kind of like a yellowish tint to it that kind of is a little bit off putting and i have noticed that swapping this head out this gets a little bit tough to take out of the joint. You're either popping the, you know, the, the double ball peg out or you're, you know, just, that has been a little bit frustrating. Then pop the other head on, pop the, the neck on and the head. Bam, you got your Spider-Man. Now, as far as comparisons, here is the Marvel Legends that we got, the Marvel Legends Spider-Man that we got in the two pack. And I do like the colors on this one a little bit more. I wish they would have gone with this color blue for the Mayfax. I think that would have looked a lot better, a little bit more screen accurate. I like the red, but I just wish the blue would have been more like that. 
And then here's the homemade suit, Marvel Legends Spider-Man. And here is the, you know, Marvel Legends Spider-Man, or Spider-Tech suit. So there's a look with the Mayfex figure amongst all the other Marvel Legends figures. And of course, my Mayfex doesn't want to stand, but... So that gives you a little size comparison amongst the Marvel Legends figures. You can see he is a little bit shorter, but I mean, I think you can kind of fudge him into the Marvel Legends if you want. And then here's a comparison with the Iron Man. So you see he is definitely a little bit short when it comes to, you know, up against the Marvel Legends Iron Man, but will still work. I mean, Spider-Man, the Mafex is like a little bit under five and a half inches tall so he is a little bit on the short side but i think at the end of the day it's a really really nice figure it's going to look good up on your shelf you're going to be able to get him in some really cool poses but yeah guys that is a look at the mafex spider-man homecoming spider-man i gotta say probably the best six inch or the best 112 scale spider-man homecoming figure that is out there but yeah that's the review thank you for watching like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next figure review.